and welcome back to another episode of Ain't That America. So, starting off today, we're going to be talking about Kamala's Maggot Bait Shop, where the bait is so good that even Trump can't resist getting a little bit of a nibble. So, she specializes in reeling in the biggest suckers. Kamala Harris has turned baiting MAGA into an art form. Her top seller? The crowd-sized shrimp, guaranteed to make even the sparsest rallies seem huge. Need something juicier? Sure, try the fake news minnow. Perfect for spreading tales of pet-eating migrants that even the most gullible maggots can't stop swallowing whole. And for those bored, half-empty rally-goers, we've got the Exit Early Eel. Guaranteed to slither right out before Trump finishes rambling. Bait so good, it'll have them hooked faster than you can say witch hunt. And next up, apparently, Trump is losing control of his cult members. Because so far, a couple of them have tried to cancel his subscription to life. The latest cult member being Mr. Ryan Ruth, who decided, allegedly, to take an AK-47 out to one of Trump's golf courses and, allegedly, try to take a shot at him. All I can say about that is, get control of your cult members and, oh, please, people, don't try to assassinate people, whether you're on the left or the right. Violence is never the answer when it comes to politics. If you don't like each other and you don't like what everyone else says, stay away from each other, ignore each other, and just stay in your own little bubble. No one cares. And for those of you who are susceptible to projectile emesis, don't forget to grab your vomit bags or the rims of the toilet when you hear this one. So apparently Laura Loomer and ugh, Laura Loomer and Donald Trump are ooh, allegedly possibly involved in some type of affair. Right off the bat, I don't give a damn about either one of these two doing anything that even remotely resembles these two bumping uglies to get ugh together disgusting uh, I don't care both of these people need to hurry up and go towards the light I don't care about Laura Loomer taking a tenth or three inches or eighth of an inch for the team whichever team it is she's taking mm -hmm. it for I don't care she's only doing this because she wants the power and she'll do anything just like Marjorie Taylor Greene to get said power so that is why she is getting so close to Trump. She's been cozying up to him from jump. Uh, this purge mass freaking monster is just, she's fucking horrible. I don't see how anyone could uh, put any part of their anatomy inside of her face anywhere or how she could possibly rip off Donald Trump's diaper and slowly reach for his old sweaty, shriveled up, mushroom, orange-tinted penis, shove it in her mouth and think that it's, hey, this is great. I'm sorry. Disgusting. I don't care. Please make it stop. Everyone involved in this go towards the light. And lastly on Ain't That America... There's this photo. Now, I saw this whole thing, and I have other opinions about this lady and why she, I think she did this and how I really feel about what she did. But I'm not going to attack her about what she's doing. I'm going to attack who's really the problem here, and that would be the United States government. In the United States, there's no free or universal health care for newborns, for children in any way, shape, or form. So this, in essence, this lady, because I would have to surmise, I'm going to... I'm going to guess and say that she didn't have child care, so she brought her child to her graduation, which I think is BS because we need to have universal child care pre-K through when the hell ever you don't need child care anymore, when 12, I think, or whatever. And I think that would be the best way to do it is to actually tax the rich and make them pay their fair share of taxes and then pass legislation so that there is universal child care K through whatever so that you don't have to do what this lady did on a side note i'll say that she did this on purpose and she didn't really have a child care issue it's just i that's just how i feel about it because something just doesn't add up but anyway universal basic child care it's what we need our government sucks for not doing what they need to do to make sure that the people that they want to force to work and force to have babies can actually have a job that pays them enough money to either afford the child care, which is way expensive for no damn reason, 
or to have universal child care so that people who do have kids or are being forced to have kids because this is the United States uh, can afford to have child care or get it for free. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today on Ain't That America. Have a great day. Please be safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And don't forget to be the best heathens that you can be. And have a great day.